Hey guys, and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1 Limited Edition Blu-ray set. This is the DVD and Blu-ray combo pack set, the set that I can only advise to get. I just can't advise for someone just to buy plain Blu-ray or plain DVD when a DVD Blu-ray set exists because I just think you get all the discs. It's that collector's edition, and I can already say for a Sailor Moon Crystal fan, you should buy this because it's... The English dub, it's the Japanese dub, it has limited bonus features, we'll talk about that. And overall, it's uh, a nice set for Crystal. So let's um, unbox it and then we'll talk about the bonus features which are relatively sparse, which is unfortunate, and then we'll talk about the quality for a moment. I'm not going to show any images of the quality because you can just have my personal guarantee and it's on very good authority about the way the quality of the Blu-ray looks. So let's begin with an unboxing. So it has like a slip type case on top of the slip case that says Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Then it has the uh, silhouette of, si of uh, Sailor Moon. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal 1. And this is literally the same cover that came with the limited edition Blu-ray only from Japan that was also a music box, which I also own. On the side over here, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal, and there's a big one right there, and then has, you know, the Toei stuff. And then, uh, by the way, on the bottom here, it says Set One Dark Kingdom Arc. Then on the back of it, here I'll give you a quick uh, up close and personal look of it. It, you know, just kind of describes the bonus features, the episodes, and whatnot. Uh, the art of Sailor Moon Crystal is uh, really beautiful. I love it, so I, I do like this back slip. Uh, one thing that I do really love about this Viz Media set is since I do own the seven uh, Blu-rays for uh, season one, which were in a box each this big, if not bigger, I can you know pull those back, uh, put them on a shelf uh, down here behind the computer, and they can just chill there while this can just be on my main display shelf. So let's uh, go into the box. So the uh, main Blu-ray has the same art of uh, the volume one from Japan. It has this beautiful art of Sailor Moon with the moon stick. I don't see Luna. I feel like Luna was on this. I believe on the Japanese one, if you had opened it up, it, you would have seen Luna on this side, but she's not there. So again, this uh, information describes the what the season is about, and it's literally all of this information. Here's just a close-up for you guys to look at for a moment, just to see any differences and the only real difference I see is just the rating and the silhouette so not a big big difference then when you open this up over here you have a uh, reversible cover but I really wouldn't consider reversing this I just don't think it's worth it and it just has Usagi's silhouette from Moon Pride and then you have the three actually you have uh, two DVDs and two Blu-ray so here's Blu-ray one and then here's Blu-ray 2, and then here's DVD 1, and then here's DVD number 2. I like the art of the DVDs. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, DVD number 2 and Blu-ray number 2 is what contains the bonus feature. So that's uh, the main part of it. And then there's this nice little art book, and we'll just do a, I'm not even going to do a flip through, but it essentially has um, episode, little episode guides, so you know, you know what episodes you're getting. Then you have interviews with the five main cast. Uh, like there's Stephanie Shea, she's Sailor Moon. Then there's uh, some character vectors of the, the characters. Then you have uh, some interviews. I know I, I saw one. Like Amanda Miller, she plays Sailor Jupiter. Then you have um, you know you have tons of vectors thrown out to it, uh, thrown around it. Here's Sailor Mars's art. An interview with uh, Christina V, who plays Sailor, Mer uh, Sailor Mars. Uh, I watched the bonus feature with the four main characters. Mercury wasn't in it, and I would say uh, Stephanie Shea, Amanda Miller, and um, Chris Christina V are definitely my favorite of the voice actresses, just personality-wise. Uh, the the voice actress who played Sailor Venus, uh, Sharmia Lee. I don't know. She just didn't seem as friendly as the other ones, but uh, that was just my interpretation from the, the bonus feature extra. Then, another quick thing that also comes with it. By the way, I got mine from Amazon. This just has the basic stuff. Like, I didn't get, like, that sun catcher that you could get from Right Stuff. So, I got Amazon because of the shipping and because of the price overall. I got a very, very good deal on this. It was about $50 when I got mine. So, these are the... Um, 
the backs. Here, here's the backs, like here's uh, volume one. Then on the here's the art of volume one. It's literally the same art that you're getting on the Blu-ray. And then you have volume two with the Sailor Mercury art. And what I what I mean is this is the vault, uh, the artwork that's on the individual release for the Blu-rays with the two episodes each. So then you have the Mars artwork for volume three. You have the Jupiter artwork for volume four. You have the Venus artwork for volume five. You have the Mamoru artwork with Usagi for volume six. Unfortunately, you know, Mamoru has the silhouette right there on the top, but he doesn't get his own uh, color, his own uh, art by himself. Then you have the Princess Serenity for volume number seven. I have all these on the single Blu-rays. I like the fact that Viz loved the art so much that they decided to um, get them over to the United States as well. So what are the bonus features? Well, there's an art gallery, which I really didn't care for because I pretty much got all the art gallery in this little art book, which I do like. I think the art, the art gallery wasn't even needed because you are getting, you know, you're getting the art gallery in here. Like, I think an art book is much more competent than a an art gallery on, the, on a Blu-ray to watch. Uh, you have the Texas opening and endings, which is relatively standard for an anime. I think that's a fine feature. Actually, the limited edition Blu-ray volume one from Japan have the same thing. It actually had Texas opening and endings. Uh, sorry, I was just thinking. I, I, I know it definitely had the opening. I forget if it had the ending or not. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Um, then there were trailers from Viz Media for other things they own. Then there was, um, well, the only real breath of the bonus feature, which is a 13 minute interview with the voice actress of Moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Tuxedo Mask. Mercury's voice actress was unavailable. It lasted 13 minutes. They essentially got questions that compared what's different between Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal and what they thought about it, you know, with their characters. Uh, Christina V, who voiced Ray, probably brought the most to the table because she realized that Mars was so different between the two, which is actually a really great uh, aspect that the voice actress is noticing this. And she really seemed real interested in how Ray was kind of a princess in Crystal to being a, um, a more hothead in the original anime. So uh, that that interview was pretty nice. I wish there was a little bit more on it. If I was able to make this set, if I had access to it, I'm a big fan of buying Blu-rays. You guys know this. So if I could have made this set, I would have added, my, uh, my friend Jose suggested this, and I completely agree with you, Jose. He said, why wouldn't they add the long Moon Pride music video? That music video was on a separate a Blu-ray DVD uh, Blu-ray CD, actually, that the, J the Japanese released back in 2014. That should have been on here. And they should have somehow incorporated the Japanese audio commentaries from the original uh, 14 episodes that was also on the other seven Blu-rays. It would have been kind of a weird thing to look at because you would have had the subtitles of the Japanese translated commentaries with the subtitles of the the, uh, the English uh, the English subtitles for the Japanese dialogue. So it would have been a lot to read, but I think it would have been very, very insightful because I literally, because I don't speak Japanese and or read it, I have no insight to the creative process of Sailor Moon, which is unfortunate. Like with any Disney movie or Once Upon a Time, for example, I have very, very good insight into the whole creative process because there's a lot of information with the voice actors, with the act, uh, well, voice acting for Disney movies, but with the, with the whole creative team. And I feel that just Sailor Moon, it doesn't offer that, which is unfortunate. Uh, last thing to note is the quality. So quality is, I have this on very good authority, is the exact same from the Blu-ray releases from Japan from 2014 to 2015 slash, well, 15, it didn't get released in 16 for seasons one and two, season three did though. So the Blu-ray uh, quality is the exact same from the limited edition releases from Japan with the cleaned up animation. Uh, it's what's also streaming on Hulu right now and it looks very good. I'm just not showing it because I'm very, very cautious right now with uh, Sailor Moon. So just please take my word for it. And, and overall, I really am curious to see what you guys have to say about the uh, Blu-ray DVD set. If it'll be in the DVD, the Blu-ray or the Blu-ray DVD. I advocate for the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I think the Blu-ray DVD combo pack is definitely the one to go with. It saves you uh, shelf space and it gives you both. I mean, I think DVD and Blu-ray collectors would like both. Uh, bonus features are pretty sparse, but because this is a full dub, full uncut Japanese version with subtitles official, support the release, and buy it. I think it's worth it. I think the price is a little bit more expensive, but because you do get those uh, DVDs and Blu-rays, it is worth it in the long run. So anyway, uh, my review of it, go buy this. Go buy this, guys. It's good. It's a good It's a good set with quality, sparse bonus features, but at least good in 
what you get, especially for me since I have those 14 volumes or 13 volumes. This is so much more shelf space I get back. All right, so thank you so much for tuning into my review. Uh, I guess if I had to rate it or give it a um, a letter rating, I would go with maybe, oh God. I would go with like, I mean, the, the animation of Crystal is kind of, you know, eh, a lot of the time, but um, I would say it's a B or a four overall. I mean, there could have been a lot more, but I think for what it's worth and the price, it's it's fine. So please share your thoughts about this Blu-ray in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning into this very long uh, and hopefully informative review of Sailor Moon Crystal Blu-ray DVD Limited Deluxe Edition Volume 1, The Dark Kingdom Arc. There's so many ways to say Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1. All right, we'll talk soon.